Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi dumps Finn after rescue. Is two killer in-laws too much? The bold and the beautiful spoilers claim that John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, saves Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood. Meanwhile, Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, confronts Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada. While Steffi and Finn are very much in love, the situation with Sheila Carter Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown, and Hope Logan Annika Noel is already too much. Now Steffi must be rescued from another of Finn's terrible connections, Luna. Could Steffi decide enough is enough following the cage rescue? BNB spoilers show that Finn and Steffi are still much in love. However, even after the Hope kiss, there were complications caused by Sheila. During an argument before the cage incident, Steffi mentioned that Hope's predicament was similar to Sheila's. Regardless of how many times Steffi warned Finn about Sheila, he kept bringing her back into their life, frequently with near-fatal consequences. Finn even informed Ridge Forrester, Torsten K., and Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, that Sheila is still causing problems in his marriage, albeit indirectly. Then there was Hope's kiss. Steffi continued warning Finn about Hope, but he failed to recognize the danger. Then Finn was taken aback when a drunk Hope kissed him during Eric Forrester's, John McCook, bedroom line party. Finn told Hope that he would be honest with Steffi. However, doing so resulted in Steffi leaving and ending herself in the cage scenario. According to teasers from The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi instructed Finn not to contact her. Steffi is fortunate that Finn is so defiant. Finn couldn't get the notion that something was wrong with Steffi. Finn now knows since he received a phone call from the Paris clinic stating that Steffi had never arrived. While in the cage, Steffi begs Finn to find her. Finn will do that while Lee takes down Luna. While there will be a happy reunion, there are still challenges in the marriage. It's probable Finn and Steffi will communicate once they're securely back home. Let's move on from the hope dilemma and chat about Sheila and Luna. While Steffi adores Finn, two deadly in-laws may be too much. Regardless of how much she loves Finn, Steffi may end her relationship with him following the cage rescue. It really could be too much, especially since Steffi has young children. Finn frees Steffi, but Bill kills Luna during the showdown? According to teasers for the bold and the beautiful Bill Spencer, Don Diamant provides John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, a hint. This hint leads Finn to believe Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, is in danger. While Finn eventually saves Steffi, it may be through a collaborative effort with other characters. Could Bill and Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, help Finn save Steffi while defeating Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada? Steffi Forrester Finnegan caged. According to BNB spoilers, Steffi is still trapped in a cage within Luna and Penelope Poppy Nozawa's, Romy Park, residence. The structure is soon to be raised, and Steffi is already hungry and frail. Furthermore, Luna continues to drug Steffi every time she drinks water. Steffi is frantic for Finn to notice she is missing and rescue her. However, the clock is ticking. B&B spoiler, John Finnegan's search. Finn went to Bill's residence and questioned him about Steffi. Initially, Bill rejected Finn's concerns. Bill eventually recognized Finn meant business. Before Bill could respond to Finn, Luna strolled in. Luna dismissed Finn's concerns before pulling Bill away to mend her television. Of course Luna may try to learn what Finn knows or what Bill told him. Bill is a keen individual who may begin to see the truth. After all, Bill could look Lee in the eyes and tell she was being truthful about the paternity test. So Bill might remove his rose-colored spectacles and see Luna is a lustful lunatic. Bill Spencer's Clue According to the bold and the beautiful teasers, Bill will give Finn a clue once he returns to the living room. This hint informs Finn that Steffi is in serious danger. It's presumably Steffi's phone. Steffi wouldn't go anywhere without her phone, especially to France. Then, when the Paris clinic informs Finn that Steffi never arrived, it will be evident that she never boarded the Forrester jet. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. A joint rescue mission? Finn gets mocked for telling Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, that he believes Luna is responsible for Steffi's disappearance. Lee will undoubtedly go locate Luna straight away and confront her. While Lee is preoccupied taking action, Finn goes to interview R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, about the night Tom Star, Clint Howard, died. 
Even if Steffi is spared, it appears that Shin is separated for a brief period of time after that. At the end of the second week of September, Lee faces off against Luna as Finn frees Steffi. However, in the following episode, Finn and Steffi reconcile. So, maybe Lee is knocked out during the fight with Luna. Maybe Luna feels she has won. What if Bill walked through the door? Luna would be compelled to confront Bill in the midst of his crime rampage. Would Bill truly be willing to kill the only daughter he has ever known? Finn from Bold and Beautiful comes to the rescue. And farewell, Luna? Darn it, entertain me. Looking back on its history, Bold and Beautiful has relied far less on out-there stories than most other shows. While Days of Our Lives is burying people alive and having characters wear masks that modify everything from their height to their voice, Bold and Beautiful is more concerned with the extended Forrester clan's constant partner swapping. And that's good because despite what non-soap fans would tell you, each soap has or should have its own particular storytelling style. Bold and Beautiful occasionally says, Screw it, let's have fun. The next thing you know, Taylor is dancing with a snake, Thomas is macking on a mannequin, and Luna is shoving Steffi into a DIY cage in her living room. I believe that the unexpected nature of these stories contributes to their appeal. It's as if you opened up a Harlequin romance novel only to see the heroine begin beheading people. I'm enjoying the unique experience, even if it leaves me wondering where Steffi pees. Why hasn't anyone called Thomas to see if his sister is visiting him? And why didn't Luna just kill Finn's wife as she did Tom and Hollis? Is Luna on her way out? It's difficult to envision Luna remaining on the canvas until this drama concludes, albeit Sheila has done considerably worse and is now essentially the soap's heroine, which is a tragedy. I've adored Lisa Yamada and the fire she brought to the canvas when she first joined the cast. Eric Donna Luna RJ Bed and Breakfast. More. Heather Tom recalls her first day as Katie. I'll admit that I've never been a huge fan of the R.J. Slash Luna romance, and I despise the twist that placed her in Zen's bed. Throughout it all, Yamada has proven herself to be a rising talent, and I'm excited to see what she does next. Random thoughts. Assure, the Luna story is insane, but the most bizarre thing that happened this week had to be Katie sitting down for a gossip session with Sheila and Deacon. I was wondering, when did these three become buds? Aliam accusing Finn of wreaking havoc in Steffi's life was the ultimate irony. However, this is a show filled to the brim with hypocrites who are blissfully unaware of the jaw-dropping things they say on a daily basis. Another ironic moment? Rich stated that Hope crossed the line by kissing his son and son-in-law. It's true, but he was saying this to Brooke, who has had intimate relationships with his father, both of his half-siblings, and two males who were engaged with her daughters. Steffi Forrester's relationship with Finn has been nothing short of difficult, particularly following the dramatic events with their in-laws. Steffi is completely disturbed after being saved from Luna's lethal grasp. The ordeal with two murderous in-laws, Sheila, who has tormented her for years and Luna, whose psychotic episode nearly killed Steffi, has taken a toll on her emotionally and mentally. Finn's steadfast support for Steffi after her captivity and subsequent rescue initially appeared to enhance their friendship. However, the reality of the situation overwhelms Steffi. She begins to wonder if she can continue living in the shadow of such peril, especially given the continual threat that Finn's connections bring into her life. The terrible incident makes Steffi realize how much she needs serenity, stability, and safety for herself and her children which she feels she will never have as long as she is married to Finn. The love between Steffi and Finn has always been strong, but the havoc brought on by their in-laws is something Steffi cannot ignore. She struggles with the understanding that, despite Finn's decency and the love they share, his family ties pose a level of risk that she is no longer ready to tolerate. The pain of nearly losing her life, along with the possible harm to her children, drives Steffi to make the heartbreaking decision to end her relationship with Finn. Steffi's decision concerns not just her own safety, but also the future of her children. She understands that staying with Finn means continually looking over her shoulder, fearing the next attack by one of their violent in-laws. Even with Luna dealt with, the damage has been done, leaving Steffi to pick up the pieces of her broken sense of security. Steffi's concern that another threat could appear at any time causes her to reevaluate everything she thought was vital. Steffi is committed to provide her children with a safe and calm atmosphere as they grow. This means cutting ties with Finn, despite her feelings for him. 
The decision to end their relationship is one of the most difficult Steffi has ever faced, but she understands that it is necessary. She cannot continue to live in terror, and she cannot expose her children to the dangers that come with being engaged with Finn. Steffi's breakup with Finn marks a turning point in her life. It marks the beginning of a new chapter in her life, one in which she prioritizes her own and her children's safety above everything else. The sorrow of losing Finn is enormous, but Steffi is adamant in her decision. She understands that this is the only way she can fully move on and rebuild her life following the pain she has experienced. Finn, on the other hand, is crushed by Steffi's choice. He understands her reasoning but is nonetheless heartbroken. He had believed that his love would be strong enough to overcome any difficulty, but the reality of his family's danger proved too much. Finn is forced to deal with the loss of the woman he loves and the reality that his ties to his deadly in-laws have cost him everything. In the end, Steffi's decision to leave Finn demonstrates her strength and endurance. She refuses to be a victim of her circumstances and is determined to take control of her own life even if it means making difficult and painful decisions. Steffi's journey is one of empowerment, as she chooses to prioritize her own and her children's well-being at any costs. The breakup closes a huge chapter in both Steffi and Finn's lives. While their love story may be gone, Steffi's determination to protect herself and her children paved the way for a fresh beginning, one free of the shadow of danger that has hung over her for so long. Lee and Luna's showdown, Poppy's discovery, and Cage aftermath. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the next two weeks are officially available. From September 2nd to 13th, 2024, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, and Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, will face off. John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, and Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes would reconcile. Penelope Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, learns of her daughter's deeds. Furthermore, there will be a terrible fallout from the cage event. Continue reading and let's discuss what's coming up on the CBS soap. According to BNB spoilers for the week of September 2nd, Finn will understand that Steffi's disappearance is obviously not normal. Everyone continues to reject Finn's concerns. Finn even attempted to question Bill Spencer, Don Diamant. While Luna was distracting Bill, Finn received a phone call. Apparently, Steffi planned to visit the Paris clinic. However, they called Finn to inform him that Steffi had not come. Bill returns in the next week to complete his talk with Finn. Bill eventually gives Finn something that makes him understand Steffi isn't just missing, but in severe danger. After Bill gives Finn a hint, the good doctor goes to see Lee. In a preview clip, Finn informs Lee that Steffi has gone missing, and Luna may be involved. Later, Finn will confront R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, about the night Tom star, Clint Howard, died. As the week continues, Lee faces off with Luna. Meanwhile, Finn discovers Steffi. Shin must be separated at some point, most likely due to Luna's freakout. However, at the end of the week, it is hinted that Steffi and Finn may reconcile. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of September 2nd indicate that Bill and Katie Logan, Heather Tom, We'll have another conversation. Perhaps Bill will make up his mind about Poppy now. Beatty also discusses how to bring the news about Luna to Will Spencer, Crew Morrow. Later, Poppy discovers the tragic truth about her daughter. Throughout the week of September 2nd, Steffi and Finn will want to spend as much time together as possible. While Steffi will be fine, the pair has to talk about how to deal with the situation better going forward. There's also the dilemma with Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Hope feels terrible about kissing Finn, but how can she prevent it from occurring again? There should also be updates on Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig. Given the recent trauma, could fans expect some characters to seek therapy from Taylor? RJ will have a difficult time understanding Luna's murderous deeds. RJ truly believed he knew Luna and will be heartbroken by the truth. Even if Steffi is spared, it appears that Shin is separated for a brief period of time after that. At the end of the second week of September, Lee faces off against Luna as Finn frees Steffi. However, in the following episode, Finn and Steffi reconcile. So, maybe Lee is knocked out during the fight with Luna. Maybe Luna feels she has won. What if Bill walked through the door? Luna would be compelled to confront Bill in the midst of his crime rampage. Would Bill truly be willing to kill the only daughter he has ever known? Finn from Bold and Beautiful comes to the rescue. And farewell, Luna?
Darn it, entertain me. Looking back on its history, Bold and Beautiful has relied far less on out-there stories than most other shows. While Days of Our Lives is burying people alive and having characters wear masks that modify everything from their height to their voice, Bold and Beautiful is more concerned with the extended Forrester clan's constant partner swapping. And that's good because despite what non-soap fans would tell you, each soap has or should have its own particular storytelling style. Bold and Beautiful occasionally says, screw it, let's have fun. The next thing you know, Taylor is dancing with a snake, Thomas is macking on a mannequin, and Luna is shoving Steffi into a DIY cage in her living room. I believe that the unexpected nature of these stories contributes to their appeal. It's as if you opened up a Harlequin romance novel only to see the heroine begin beheading people. I'm enjoying the unique experience, even if it leaves me wondering where Steffi pees. Why hasn't anyone called Thomas to see if his sister is visiting him? And why didn't Luna just kill Finn's wife as she did Tom and Hollis? Is Luna on her way out? It's difficult to envision Luna remaining on the canvas until this drama concludes, albeit Sheila has done considerably worse and is now essentially the soap's heroine, which is a tragedy. I've adored Lisa Yamada and the fire she brought to the canvas when she first joined the cast. Eric Donna Luna RJ bed and breakfast. More. Heather Tom recalls her first day as Katie. I'll admit that I've never been a huge fan of the R.J. Slash Luna romance. And I despise the twist that placed her in Zen's bed. Throughout it all, Yamada has proven herself to be a rising talent. And I'm excited to see what she does next. Random thoughts. Uh, sure, the Luna story is insane, but the most bizarre thing that happened this week had to be Katie sitting down for a gossip session with Sheila and Deacon. I was wondering, when did these three become buds? Aliam accusing Finn of wreaking havoc in Steffi's life was the ultimate irony. However, this is a show filled to the brim with hypocrites who are blissfully unaware of the jaw-dropping things they say on a daily basis.